so let us discuss the experiment number six so in this experiment we have to determine the surface tension of water right surface tension of water using capillary rise method so what is done in, in this experiment is we observe the rise of water in that capillary tube by using the apparatus by using the simple apparatus right so the theory is again very simple we will use the height of rise in capillary formula to determine the surface tension right height of capillary rise formula to determine the surface tension and we put we'll put all the values in that formula using the given instrument measurements so we need to understand first we need to first remember what the formula is exactly how to write the surface tension from that capillary rise formula and then how to put the values in that formula from the given measurements right the biggest confusion generally student have in these experiments is that sir how to put the values from the given language right so be careful first the thing you must focus is on the formula and then the second thing you must focus on the values of the formula that this value must come from this instrument this value must come from that instrument and that's all so to determine the surface tension of water by capillary rise method and the effect of impurities that is how does this surface tension will change if we add impurities especially detergent now <clears throat> the concept here is the principle is very simple so when the capillary is kept inside the liquid the water rises in it right so this happens because of the because of the surface tension right so the formula is very simple you know the excess pressure due to surface tension created at the meniscus that is 2 s by r is equal to rho g h right now here the thing is if you can recall this excess pressure this is as is the surface tension this is the radius so this r is basically this is the radius of meniscus this r is generally we write a small r by cos theta which is approximately equal to r because the theta is zero for water so cos zero will be one now remember what is capital r what is small this is the radius inner radius internal radius of capillary So capillary is a test tube which is open on both hands. The internal radius because there will be thickness of capillary. So the internal radius is a small r and this capital R is generally uh, you know this is the radius of meniscus. Both are almost taken as same. So from here you can clearly rewrite the surface tension will become the formula will become this s will be equal to if you can see. So I can put this capital R as a small r. So it will become rho g r h rho g small r h by 2. So this is the formula to determine the surface tension. Now again generally this acceleration due to gravity and the density of water is given to you this will be given density of water you know the value of g is 
meter per second square and the density of water is you know thousand kg per meter cube now this r and this h must be measured this r and h are the measured values right so this is the basic concept of uh, you know the determination of surface tension of water now let us see the setup how do we use how do we use the setup to determine r and h and by which instrument we use we calculate r and h this is important to know which instrument like in previous experiment number five we use screw gauges here we're going to use vernier caliper so this is the setup now you can see this is a beaker and we have filled the water the green light shows water and this is the test tube the internal diameter or you can say this is the this is the shape of meniscus the internal diameter of this uh, is measured as a small r and this height of capillary rise is measured using this now this instrument is called as traveling microscope but my dear students don't worry about this name it is same as vernier caliper right so if you can see here you have a main scale this is the main scale and this is small scale this yellow one is vernier scale that's all now don't worry what will they do they will give you the reading on the main scale they will give you the reading of the vernier scale so using the reading of main scale and vernier scale like this you can recall the reading or h can be written as h can be written as main scale reading plus least count into vernier scale reading that is how you write the h all right so that is the instrument this is the instrument which is nothing but vernier caliper so no doubt in there similarly you also determine the r using the same concept similarly the r will be either given the internal diameter is also determined using vernier caliper all right so that is pretty simple right so that is the setup now <clears throat> the formula you as you already know the surface tension is s is equal to rho g h into r by 2 so just put the values and you can determine now apart from this apparatus and the basic principle let us write few notes on this the effects of this is the special thing i am going to write here how does the the question is how does uh, the surface tension vary if we add the impurities so the variation how does the surface tension varies with the impurities so remember surface tension s so if you add detergents generally which are insoluble or dust or some oil insoluble which is not very much soluble the surface tension decreases remember so surface tension 
of water decreases if you add non-soluble substances like detergents, dust or oil. And surface tension increases if you add soluble substances like salt, sugar or soluble substances. Remember, soluble substances when added, the surface tension or the capillary height so how you determine surface tension the height gets decreases and here the capillary rise height increases so from here you can observe also by adding the salt you will find a greater height in the experiment by adding the detergent or oil you will add find a lesser height in the, your experiment so that is how you determine that right the second effect is effect of temperature so if temperature of water increases then surface tension decreases because intermolecular distance increases So basically when you increase the temperature the intermolecular separation increases and that is why the cohesive force between them decreases and that is why the surface tension decreases. So remember this is the note and the third note is little bit you know interesting note. So here we, tr we are trying to eliminate the error caused by the shape of meniscus. So basically what it is generally uh, what we uh, what observe the meniscus imagine suppose this is the capillary this is the liquid filled up to here now due to the capillary action you can see this much amount of water is added right now what generally you do is you say that this much the weight of this water that is mg is balanced by the force of surface tension Right. So that is how we observe it. So the, this much of weight, the weight of this much extra amount in the rise, this is the capillary rise. So weight of this much water is balanced by the surface tension force, which we take as 2 pi r into that surface tension T. Or you can write that as S. All right. Now mg, the weight, the mass of this liquid is, uh, now if you see, if I just write the mass of this liquid, we are ignoring the excess mass which is this one and this produces, the, this is the source of error. We also have to consider this part of mass. Now if you visualize in three dimension, it is the basically uh, hollow, uh, if you can see it is the hemispherical part which is reduced. If you consider this mass also, now consider this is the radius r. Now the complete volume of the cylinder, the complete mass is the mass of cylinder. The mass of this cylinder which is of height h plus r minus this hemisphere, the meniscus, this is the mass. So if I write the total volume of this thing, so this is the, the radius is R. So the volume is, the mass will be rho times, the volume of this thing is pi R square into H plus R, this is the complete volume, minus this much volume, which is two by three, volume of hemisphere is two by three pi R cube, like that. So when you subtract this, the mass of this thing is rho into pi r square. So if you see here, you will have h plus r minus 2 by 3 r. So the mass comes out to be rho pi r square into h plus r by 3. 
this is the mass of the liquid which has rises due to the surface tension so now if you write this here so the rho into pi r square into h plus r by 3 you can eliminate this error r by 3 generally we ignore which we ignored but if you consider that also then you get more appropriate or more exact answer so from here you can see this pi gets cancelled out and you can divide the so exact value more precise value or more accurate value of this will come out to be rho you can cancel out also this r from here so rho r sorry this into g this is m g so m times g rho r g by 2 into h plus r by 3 so this is you can say this is like more exact answer more exact answer so because this was given in your lab manual so i just wanted to make a point you don't have to remember this exact formula i think our approximate formula will do this is also the formula which we wrote will also go almost same right so i guess from here you can relate it right uh, you just have to understand the concept here okay so thank you. Now let's solve some problems based on this simple concept.